Army's new auto gyro school at Patterson Field graduates its first class of pilots and mechanics. Colonel Houghton, commanding officer, joins instructors and students in the unusual ceremonies. Nose to tail, rotors tucked away along their sides, these strange craft resemble a string of trained circus birds as they are rolled out for the warm-up. Auto-rotating blades, which take the place of conventional wings, are unfolded and locked into position. A 225 horsepower motor operates both the propeller and the rotors. Lieutenant Gregory, senior instructor, climbs into his auto gyro to lead his hearties through their graduation paces. The officers enrolled in the school are all experienced pilots who have been sent here from their home stations for 50 hours of special training in the flying windmill. Six of these planes have just been received from the factory. After two classes of pilots and mechanics have been graduated, the new machines will be scattered to the four winds to test their value with the ground branches all over the country. Off they go for the first military auto gyro formation in United States history. Birds of a feather fanning their way over the reviewing stand in perfect formation. Following the review, the planes separate for a demonstration of individual performance. Let's watch one of the students in his final exam. Like a monkey on a string, the auto gyro twists and turns in place with no apparent effort. Twenty-four hundred pounds? The engineers say that's what it weighs, but you can't fool us. It's light as a feather and it floats down as easily. Now it flashes past full speed ahead. After watching one of his eagles perform, a student mechanic was moved to a poetic expression of its antics. It lands on a nickel and leaves four cents change, and then it rolls back to pick up what remains. 